Hello, 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 and welcome again. Uh, this time I will do a repair on a um, on the shutter in uh, Yashica 44. It's a um, four times four format um, camera, so. Uh, it's pretty nice condition, but the shutter is completely messed up. So let's have a look. <clears throat> <clears throat> See what we can do about it. Nice camera. This is only the winder. It has not, there's nothing, not really connecting anything to the shutter assembly here. But, um, if I push the button, uh, nothing really happened. I mean, if I cock the shutter here, you probably can see a little movement, but nothing more. Hmm. If I do it again, you see the shutter, the <coughs> to cock the shutter. I use this handle and it should actually return up here by itself but it does hmm so what to do about it and the uh, the self timer is <coughs> also not in, in in good working process <coughs> I mean condition the lenses look pretty good, and the uh, viewfinder also looks pretty good. So, I mean, the camera looks like, and the focusing handle is also working proper. But um, it's inside here; all the things happen. <coughs> so, <coughs> we need some tools. Uh, we need this handy rubber. Thingy in different size, which is pretty handy to to disassemble lenses and other stuff, and they're very sticky. So <clears throat> go and look for them on Japan Hobby Tool or have Hobby Japan Tool dot com. So uh, yeah, and we need a um, some dentist tool, which is pretty handy. A good flathead screwdriver. Some different shapes of tweezers, uh, which is quite handy. Probably a small flathead screwdriver, 1.2 millimeter. Um, <clears throat> and we probably need a, um, a tool like this. Uh, because something is really wrong over here. Of course, I've been into the camera, but I put it back again with the with the error, <coughs> just to show you how it could be maybe repair. We need some oil for sewing machine oil, sewing <laughs> machines with a needle, so it's very easy to apply it's very very thin oil so um, and of course we need some lighter fluid uh, I put it in a glass jar which is pretty <coughs> tight so the air will not spill out and of course a blower so now let's go ahead <coughs> we need to uh, open and by this we, uh, well, I've been into this camera before, but um, I will show it anyway. One have to lift up the uh, leather. It could be here from here, um, and it's uh, it's glued with the contact glue. Just normal. It's nothing special. And there is one here. You see the screw here, tiny. 
flathead. Uh, there's another one under here, beside the handlebar for the self-timer. Here. And there is another one over here, because this little le leather, probably you can see it here. And there is the the last one, which hold the um, you can just move this and under here. There's also another screw, so it's the last one. <coughs> so um, we just <coughs> can unscrew. But before we do so, I will take out the lens, the taken lens not the other one is not necessary by this uh, handy rubber tool just to uh, put it on here with a cone here and then press and then it will come loose The other thing, the other good thing with this uh, rubber tool is, I can um, let the lens <coughs> rest of uh, some of the other one, like here, and put it aside. <coughs> so, then we take out the screws. They are very short, so uh, at non-magnetic screws. <coughs> Sorry, this one here. It can be a little difficult because uh, the the handle for the self timer not I cannot push it that way because it's not working proper then the third one keep the screws in the same position when you put them aside because uh, it will make it easier if there is any difference in the thread. It could be. So. <clears throat> and then there are some holes here which the handlebar for the shutter uh, the handle for the when you cut the shutter has to be in this position the other one is for the M and X handle which should also stay in that position as you see here it will make it a lot easier when and of course the uh, aperture has to be all the way up here, closest to the X, there. The shutter time, the exposure time, it doesn't matter how it stays. We can <coughs> look at it afterward. But then you just lift up the and just like bend it on from this side first um, and then it should be possible to take it out easily <clears throat> there's one difference between this camera and other because I found out the uh, the, the electric cord which is uh, connected to the sink flash sync 
uh, contact here on the front. It was not connected, so uh, well, it's not the case here. This is the shutter button. Now we set the exposure wheel to well it doesn't matter where we set it <coughs> we could set it at the uh, yeah one second or so if it's possible I don't know it's really messed up <coughs> so we just let it stay there now to um, get at this ring off we need to um, turn this it's not a screw but more <coughs> a kind of a lock uh, which prevent the teeth uh, ring here retaining ring from uh, unscrew itself so by putting in a thin screwdriver here and gently turn it 180 degree uh, it should be possible there's a small mark here so um, we should at least go there again that was one turn we do just continue to and let's lift off <coughs> we just smet, set a small mark here when it comes off so <coughs> And now we uh, take off the cover for the uh, shutter assembly. Just uh, lift it up here. Oh, the shutter is alive. <coughs> there are two holes here, one here and one there. And then it gauge with the pin here and the other one over here. Just to be sure it sit correct, it cannot sit wrong. Now the exposure wheel <coughs> here. Um, now we can actually turn it and we can close the shutter by the <coughs> shutter er, yeah, <laughs> arm. So there is some life somewhere, but um, I can take off the exposure wheel and one point is this arm over here, which is uh, the arm who makes the um, click function. This arm here. Um, so if you lift up over here, this side, just lift up and gently take it out. So then we have the wheel. It can also only stay in one direction because of the de uh, teeth <coughs> that goes against the roller kind of a roller arm here so if I um, if I try to cut the shutter because there is another issue the arm will not go back I mean return to the actual position from the start because of uh, one thing <coughs> There is a small spring 
that should stay this spring here. It has to be lift up. Hope you can see it. Um, and then move it into the notch here. There. Hope it's possible to see. Some better light. Um, and if it goes there, the shutter, uh, the cock function is part of it is actually working. Now it returns itself. So that's good. But it's still not possible to fire the shutter. Um, if we do so, you see, there's some slightly movement, but not really much. See? And I thought there was a problem with the with the um, the self timer or the or the slow gear here. So uh, the uh, self timer is down here, which uh, I could use the arm. I will take this out. <clears throat> so, but I found out another thing, which is not good. Uh, and which is the actual problem over here there's a pin this is quite a lot bended way too much and another issue is uh, the pin here this is also bended way too much because I cannot um, set the the uh, self timer and uh, which is really bad I cannot even uh, ex fire the shutter because if you look here hope you can see it when I push the button over here to the left the shutter will try to fire but cannot because it, uh, it goes against this pin and it will not return uh, itself because um, pin in here it's not, has not <coughs> full its sequence so uh, what to do about that? Hmm. I was thinking about that if I if I uh, bent this uh, arm here like here. It could be, it's just a guess, it could be that it maybe could work again, I don't know, but yes, it actually works. Wow, that's great. I can fire this shutter. It's on B at the moment. So uh, how about the, uh, and it has to go a little further back because it's too close. I cannot uh, cut the self timer because uh, it goes against the little pin here. So I have to move it a little bit more and um, probably uh, maybe I need my tool here. It's way too big. 
but uh, I think maybe I can do it here. Hmm. Not easy, but uh, this is a really damaged camera. So hopefully it can come back to life. goes still too much against the the uh, self timer assembly well it try to work if I help it a little Let's see Hey, so this has to be mm -hmm. okay. I think I'm, I think it can work. Yeah. This just has to be bended a little. Let's see, drop the shutter on B, it works, then we take the self timer, <coughs> and hopefully, See now the uh, the pin here can go through this gap to open the shutter and fully closed again. So this <coughs> this pin here also have to be bended. But hold on a second. I'm gonna try to put the the exposure ring on and see if uh, something will work hopefully and then we probably we can have different exposure time try to set it on 250 yeah and even slower half a second Okay, it was on B. Mm -hmm. You see, the point is that uh, there's something that is not working proper because of the pin here. This in here doesn't look like it works proper maybe I should take this on the uh, could it be a different hmm. hopefully
here and it could be that Try to put this on. Yeah. Looks like it. And wait, what if I go to B? Is it? Would it do? Any different? Where is the... Let me see one thing. Looks like the uh, uh, it was a self timer that was sitting in way even slower. Hey, okay. so that should be on B. So close. It seems like uh, something is not fully working yet, but uh, hopefully it will. <clears throat> I'll try to bend this pin because it looks like it's way too much bent. Because um, this pin here, this small pin here, have to go all the way up to this notch here. So I guess it must be so. So let's see, yeah, that's on B, what's the next step, should be one second. Mm -hmm. Not really, but there's something wrong. Hmm. What a damage shutter. Hmm. But it's better. <laughs> Try to cut the self timer here.
the long turn a second. <laughs> oh, I'll help it a little. Yeah. What if I do some gently move? Yeah, the self timer needs some tension, some attention. No, not the self timer, but the uh, s slow gear needs some attention. So I think I will just take out the spring here uh, for the sh advance, shorter advance. And let it get all the way so it's relaxed. And then it should be possible to go into the screws here. You see, slow gear is a bit sticky. Probably some rust, rusty thing. But I can uh, unscrew it here. One end here and one screw in that end and one in the other end almost. So it will be around here. Given finger here, then unscrew this. It can only sit in one way, so there is no nothing to be worried about. And then I guess it should be uh, possible, at least, to take the slow gear out, hopefully. But no. My dentist tool. I guess it should be possible to lift it up somewhere. Uh -huh. Looks like the screw here that holds the assembly. Just to be sure, yeah, it holds the, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, the screw here holds the, the, um, the assembly, place a long screw, and uh, then it should be possible to take out the slow gear. This black thingy it's also important because it sits here with the two screws go through so it needs to come in as a kind of a spacer. <coughs> now then we need to give it a bath in lighter fluid fluidium stinks it should only stay there for a short time that's it then we close again
And then I just give the slow gear some motion. To loosen the old gumby oil which has been there for ages. Not ages but <laughs> very long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some a lot of old oil that gets uh, very sticky during the time. So, and then we need the uh, air blow. You say a napkin to. The lighter fluid will evaporate very quickly. And uh, take most of the residues away. Because some part of this uh, slow gear do not at all need any loop. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that's just my my own experience. Yeah. And then I just uh, put on a few drops of sewing machine oil. Only on the bearing. No need to put uh, any loop on the on the gear wheel. That's not the, uh, the important thing, in my opinion. So, I think this will uh, work pretty good. It can only be better. <laughs> now it feels much better. See? Now it's actually almost back to life. Almost. Yeah, so let's put it in again. Be very, very interesting to 
with this little nice camera in a, actually a good um, condition will, um, will work I guess this little So, <clears throat> okay, we need the little the small plate here. Goes there. And the escapement, slow gear, whatever people call it. This one goes over here. And the little pin here goes this way. <laughs> yes. I think we take the long screw first. So I know where the where the plate, the, the small plate with the two holes in. It works. Uh, well, <laughs> I could actually put it in the camera again, and then we take this really thin. You need a thin screwdriver, but uh, And the other, the last one. And we, so. And then I just tighten it gently. Looks, <clears throat> it looks better, but uh, how about the the uh, actual? Wow, it looks much better. So uh, the only thing I do need to do is to take out the self timer, which is which has one screw here, I guess. Uh, it's not really a screw, hmm. but where is it? There must be a kind of a screw that that hold the thing in place. But then, uh, ah, you see, right down here. Hopefully, you can see it there. It looks like it's a screw, but it isn't. It's just like a nut screw when you turn it like this or this. So it will 
lock the uh, the self timer in place. What about the other end? Hmm. A dentist tool. And probably one can lift up the uh, there's an axle here. So if I do it that way and lift up the self timer, it's okay. Probably the, the spring here has to come off. Mm. Okay, yes. So is it possible now to lift up? I would guess so, yeah. Exactly a way of putting things in. So So if one needs, oh, no. So this, okay. So we need to put it in a correct position. So there's space enough around here to lift the, uh, the self timer off this axle here. Exciting stuff. Come on. Should I say come off? Yes. So it is. So the axle here is um, going through the self timer here and the the thing that I thought was a screw head, but it wasn't. So you just move it 45 degree. No, it must be 90 degree like this. And lock it and unlock. Lock it and unlock. So uh, now we are free of the uh, self timer so we could actually see what happened. So I cut the shutter like this and fire. Sounds really, really good. The shutter actually looks okay. It's not that sticky as I thought it was. Um, This is one second. 
So I could put the exposure ring on. Let's see how it will, will work or not. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the pin here, which I bent in the beginning, is uh, correct because that's on B and uh, this should be on one second. Yeah. So it's, it's really great. <laughs> Now, the, um, the self-timer needs also some attention in a little bath. Uh, and after that, some uh, lubrication. So I just put it in and give it some... <laughs> There's no need for pushing too hard, but just to make the the liquid, I mean the lighter fluid fluid goes into the small gear and clean them up. But it's pretty good. So. And then gently I will just do some gently drying the Then some few drops of oil. Don't be worried about the if the assembly here will fall apart because there are two screws here that hold the whole assembly in, in place.
And this part here, just to a tiny drop. So, that's it. Somebody has bent this uh, arm a little, but um, I will bend it back when I put it the uh, slow gear in, no, <laughs> self timer in. You see, this uh, arm here will go against here. So, um, When one have cut the, uh, I could actually just put this spring on again, um, so it's because it's pretty tight. I mean, really strong. Maybe to put it. All the way back. So it will make it easier to to put the spring on. I made myself this handy tool that probably could make it easier to hook the spring on. Yeah. It's just a dentist tool. Is I um, bent like a little hook. See, much better movement than it was. But I need to put the uh, it correct in the. Uh, because it has to go in the middle. This arm has to stay in the middle. And then it should be uh, possible to put the, the uh, self-timer over the pin. And probably let it uh, just go in the shutter. Hopefully. So, has to stay like this. And then gently press on the where the axle stands. Take care of the little spring here. This spring here has to go in. Here, go on, go away. So, so the shutter is open as it should be. Then it should be possible to do so. Click. Yes. And then tighten the little or oh, turn this little screw head look alike here. So let's see how it works. Here it has to be bent a little like this. So try to set this, the self timer here, cut the shutter, and then it should be possible to. Yes. 
So, it needs some amount of loop on the on the side of the self timer here because it's metal against metal so I actually get some helicoy XP helimax XP uh, yeah, here it's container on the internet Amazon quite good stuff this is the first time I use I tried this loop just a little amount maybe it's a little too much but let's see so So, let's see how it turns. And then the one second. Wow, <laughs> that was actually work. That's, that's really good. So this old fellow has gone back to life. Quite interesting stuff. I guess you think so too. Um, yeah. So it's just to put things back in. And then this nice old fellow. Ho, 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 we forgot something. This little pin that goes against the uh, the teeth here to make the click. Tweezer, tweezer, tweezer. A lot of tweezers. Go there. So, and hopefully it can work proper. Just see how it turns out to be um, when I put the this ring on. So like this, and the um, put this ring all over the here, so it catch all of the the pin. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> so. Now it should be possible to um, cock the shutter and put it on something 500. Oh, I'm in my way here. Oh, forgot another thing. Ah. The little spring. That has to return the, uh, the the cocking arm. All the way up here. So. Do it again.
That's really pretty. Really, really good. So, this goes on. And this here goes against a D pin here. Have to go there. So everything should work proper. Yeah. Hmm. So now I can put the plate <coughs> on. The two pin. One has to go here. And the other there, one there, one there. And the uh, retaining ring. Fit there. Go one and a half turn. And so I am back again. It's locked, and then um, I should set it at, on something 500. Yes, oh. 15, 8, quarter a second. Then half a second, and then one second. And if I cock this self timer, what would it say? It says something. Oh, I see the point here. I need some some uh... well, it could be that it's a bit worn out, but uh. Do it again. Funny sound. Okay, it clicks, but the self timer maybe is a bit worn out. I don't know. Uh, but wow, the shutter itself work as it should. This is pretty good. So um, I will have it okay for now and put the lid on the front so the uh, self timer have to stay there and this arm have to be there and <clears throat> the shutter arm the cocking arm is also in the correct position this stay this arm has to stay somewhere in the middle And then you begin here, go all the way up here, try to catch the um, the MNX arm, 
then the um, the arm for the cocking and the shutter but then it should go there well that's not bad <laughs> So now we actually have a working camera. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. Then the small screws. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. So, the other side, screws in this camera is not that good, I mean, they could have been better, they are very short. The little leather. And the rest. I mean, the last. It will be a lot easier because then I can actually set the uh, self-timer in the position where I can see where I screw in. And uh, then I will just glue the um, the leather with some good ordinary contact glue. Not much, but um, this is some Dana Lean Universal glue. Um, it could be whatever it is, but it's just good contact glue. Just on the letter. No need for taking too much. So, and over here, the part I took off. It's just almost a new camera. Is that amazing? I think.
So there, not there. And uh, if I put it on, oh, just so, and then I will just um, cut the shutter and put it on B. So so and then one of the main thing the lens and then again my proper tool Japan hobbytool.com I as I remember and some gently press so yeah welcome back to life <laughs> that's actually that okay Bye-bye.